Hello everyone, I am Shaburi from hookedinloops.com. If you have still not subscribed to my channel, then please hit the subscribe button and for getting updates of new videos, then please click the bell icon. Today, I will show you how to crochet this beautiful collar necklace and for the project, I have used two kinds of yarn. For the base, I have used black colored acrylic yarn. It's a four ply yarn and for the flowers and leaves, I have used embroidery floss. The uh, base portion, I'm showing you with yellow colored yarn because in camera, we cannot record the black yarn properly. First, we will do a slip knot and then we will insert the hook in it. I have taken a 3 mm crochet hook. Then we will be doing chain 50. After that, we will do a chain 3. This chain 3 is the first double crochet of this first round. Then we will be doing one double crochet in the fifth chain from the hook. Okay? Then in the next two chains, we will be doing one double crochet each. So we did 4 double crochets in the beginning. Then in the following chain we will be doing 2 double crochets. This is an increase. Okay. After that in the following 4 chains we will be doing 1 double crochet each. By the way, you will get the free written pattern in my website www.hookedinloops.com and I will attach the link in the description box so you can easily click the link and get the free pattern. Then in the following chain, we are doing two double crochets. So I hope you understood the pattern that is in the following four chains we will be doing one double crochet each and then in the next chain after that we will be doing two double crochets done now we will be repeating the same pattern for two more times until we reach the central portion okay and then we will just do the mirror image pattern that is in the following chain we will begin with two double crochet then in the next four chains we will do one double crochet each and then again two double crochet in the next chain so so we are doing two double crochets in this particular chain before this chain we did two double crochets and now again we are doing two double crochets okay so i hope you understood the mirror image pattern okay now in the next four chains we will be doing one double crochet each After that, in the following chain, we are doing two double crochets. Okay, and then in the next four chains, 
we will be doing one double crochet each after that we will simply repeat the pattern till the till we reach the end okay now we are left with the last five chains so in the following chain we are doing two double crochets and in the last four chains one double crochet each okay this is the last double crochet of this round and with this the round one is completed now we will begin the round two with a chain three this chain three is the first double crochet of this round and we will turn our work okay and then in the next four stitches we will be doing one double crochet each okay taking the first chain 3 as a double crochet we have done our first five double crochets okay and then in the following stitch we will be doing an increase that is we will be doing two double crochets just maintain the countings okay because if it this you will get a beautiful arch shape so this is the pattern that is in the following five stitches we are going to do one double crochet each And after that in the following stitch we will be doing two double crochets and repeat this pattern till you complete your first 30 double crochet stitches okay We will quickly complete our first 30 double crochet stitches and we have reached the mid portion. Now we will be doing the mirror image pattern. So we will continue from the middle portion that is in the following stitch we will be doing two double crochets. Okay and then in the following five stitches we will be doing one double crochet each i hope you are understanding why i'm calling it a, a middle, um, mirror image pattern in the following stitch we will be doing two double crochets In the next five stitches we will be doing one double crochet each we will repeat this pattern till we reach the end and we are now left with the last five stitches so we are doing one double crochet in each one of these okay we will be doing the last double crochet in the third chain of the starting chain three of the previous round Okay. just do a double crochet in that chain and after that we will complete it with a chain one and our base is ready simply we will cut the yarn okay 
this color is also looking good but I always prefer black base so we, I did the same thing with the black colored and completed it and the arch like color shape is ready now we will be decorating it with flowers leaves and beads okay you can make any uh, this with basically any color of your choice okay so now we will be making flowers so i am showing you how to make the small flower for making this i have taken embroidery floss and crochet hook size 1.75 mm we will take the yarn make a loop around our fingers in this manner then insert our hook below the first loop and draw the second loop from below in this manner draw the yarn through that loop and the magic circle is ready we will now begin this round with a chain 3 and then in the magic circle we will be doing two double crochets After that we will be doing chain 3 and then we will slip stitch in the magic circle and the first petal is completed. We will begin the second petal with a chain 3 then in the magic circle we will do two double crochets. And then we will be doing chain 3 again. And we will slip stitch in the magic circle second petal is also done in this manner we will be making three more petals I chose to make five petals if you want you can make six petals also so we will do chain three and in the magic circle we are doing two double crochets if you want you can do three double crochets instead and then we will complete this petal with a chain three and slip stitch in the magic circle three petals are done in a similar way we will be doing two more petals so we will complete the last petal with a chain three slip stitch in the magic circle and then we will do a chain one we will cut the yarn and pull it Pull the tail of the magic circle to tighten or close the magic circle. At the end, simply cut out the extra yarn. And the small flower is ready. Make as many flowers as you want. Now we will be making small leaves. For that, we will take the green colored yarn and make a slip knot and insert the hook in it. I have taken embroidery floss and 1.75 mm crochet hook. Then I am doing 7 chains. After that, in the second chain from the hook, we will be doing a slip stitch. In the following chain, 1 single crochet. In the next chain, one half double crochet then two double crochets in the following chain and then in the next chain we will be doing one single crochet And after that in the last chain we will simply do a slip stitch and the first half of the leaf is completed now we will be working in the opposite side of the chains okay so in the following chain we will be doing one single crochet the stitches are now reversed okay in the following chain we are going to do two double crochets
in the next chain we are going to do one half double crochet one single crochet in the next chain and finally at the end in the following chain we will do a slip stitch followed by a chain one and we will cut the yarn and our small leaf is ready we will be making a total of four small leaves or you can make as many leaves as you want now we will be making big leaves i have made two of these if you want you can make more okay the pattern is more or less same just the number of chain is different so at first i made a slip knot and inserted the hook in it and we are doing chain 10 okay We will slip stitch in the second chain from the hook and then in the following chain we will do one single crochet then one half double crochet in the next chain one double crochet in the following chain we will be doing two half treble crochets in the next chain And then in the following chain we will be doing one double crochet and then in the next two chains we will be doing one single crochet in each of these two okay in the last chain we will be doing a slip stitch and the first half of the leaf is completed we will be working on the opposite side of the chains and in the following chain we will be doing one single crochet in the next chain 2 we are doing one single crochet in the following chain we are doing one double crochet and two half treble crochets in the next chain in the following chain we are doing one double crochet one half double crochet in the next chain then one single crochet in the following chain at the end in the next chain we will do one slip stitch and then we will simply do a chain one and we will cut the yarn and our big leaf is also done we are make we will be making two big leaves we will now be making the rose flowers we will make two such rose flowers for this again i have taken embroidery floss and we are beginning this with a slip knot we will insert our hook in it and then we are going to do chain 50 so we will quickly do our 50 chains just make sure your number of chains is an even number okay you can increase or decrease the number of chains based on the size of the flower you want so just complete it and now we will begin the round one with a chain three this chain three is the first double crochet of this round and after that we will be doing a chain one for the chain one space then we will be doing one double crochet in the seventh chain from the hook okay and then we will be doing a chain one and we will skip the following chain and in the next chain we will be doing one double crochet okay and after that again we will be doing a chain one we will be skipping the next chain and in the following chain we will be doing one double crochet i hope you understood this pattern we will repeat it throughout this round 
that is chain 1 skip the next chain and in the following chain we will be doing one double crochet we will repeat it throughout this round okay we are doing the last chain one skipping the uh, next chain and in the last chain we are doing the double crochet we will begin the round two with a chain six turn our work and in the first chain one space we are going to do one single crochet again we will be doing chain six and in the next chain one space one single crochet then chain 6 again and one single crochet in the following chain 1 space and we will repeat this pattern that is chain 6 followed by a single crochet in the following chain 1 space So we will simply repeat this pattern till we reach the end of this round. The petals are just loop like and it is the simplest rose pattern I have ever seen. After that we will at the end we will do chain 6. We will do a single crochet in the last chain 1 space and again we will do chain 6 and at the end we will simply do a slip stitch in the third chain of the starting chain 3 of the previous round okay followed by a chain 1 and we will cut the yarn keeping a long tail because we will be using this long tail for sewing our rows so just we will roll it up in this manner this rose might look a little bit clumsy at the beginning but it will really look pretty in the necklace and of course it's the easiest rose and the fastest too when you have already got the flower like pattern simply stitch it up okay in this manner and our rose is now completely ready At the end, we will simply tie a knot and we will cut the yarn, okay? Now we will be stitching our flowers leaves to the black base which we made earlier okay I have also added a string on one side I will show you how I did that with the other side okay so let's do the stitching of the remaining flowers so in this manner I have planned to decorate it but decoration is completely up to you so we will take the needle and stitch the flowers to the base in the manner I'm showing you at the center I have added beads okay because uh, this is making it look more beautiful okay so we will quickly stitch all the flowers and the leaves as I'm showing you okay
we are stitching our last flower to the necklace and it's done at the end we will tie a knot okay and cut the thread now for the back portion if you wish you can add a layer of lining okay that is up to your preference so our necklace is ready we will weave in all the loose ends at the end okay now I will show you how to add the string of the necklace so I have taken two embroidery floss two strands of embroidery floss and joined them and made a slip knot and I have taken a 3 millimeter crochet hook and inserted the hook in the slip knot okay then we will slip stitch into any of the double crochet space okay of the last round and do a slip stitch there and then do chain 50 now do as many number of chains as you want based on the length of the hanging string you want after that at the end simply do a chain and cut the yarn and pull it to secure it okay and the necklace is completely ready it's looking very beautiful already we just need to weave in the loose ends okay after that it will be just perfect i hope you liked this tutorial and it was easy to follow if you liked this tutorial then please hit the like button comment in the comment section for any queries i will answer all your queries you will get the free written pattern in my website www.hookedinloops.com i will attach the link in the description box and please please subscribe to my channel thank you and have a great day